Howdy guys, so uh, this is Sunday Chapel Part 2, and Lord have mercy, this this light makes my black eye look terrible. Um, wow, yeah, no, I'm healing up quite nice, it doesn't look that bad in real life. Um, but I wanted to explain a little bit more. Uh, I was watching the video and I was like, wow, <laughs> yeah, I might ought to explain that verse. Um, where did it go? It's somewhere in here. Uh, look at it is. No, that's... Where is it? Whoa, under the unrighteous. Yeah, here we go. Ah, da 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 I promise it's here. Sorry. I'm working on it. Turn the page. Where'd it go? Ah, alright. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 15. So I'm going to read it again, and then I'm going to explain it. He says, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that puttest thy bottle to him, and makes him drink drunken also, the, that thou mayst may... Dad gum it. Alright, I'm going to read this in English, not Old English. Woe unto him that gives his neighbor drink, that puts the bottle to him, and makes him drunk also, that he may look upon his nakedness. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let your foreskin be uncovered, because the cup of the Lord's right hand will be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on your glory. For the violence of Lebanon will cover thee, and uh, the spoil of beasts which made them afraid because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land and of the city and all who dwelt within there. So, even my wife was like, what in the world does that mean? Okay, so it goes into drunkenness, it goes into homosexuality, um, basically, go ahead and sin, because he's talking to the Chaldeans, not, not you, you do not go ahead and sin, um, he's talking to the Chaldeans who I think were beyond saving, because this was before Christ, this was before uh, grace entered the scene, and this was back when only the Israelites were saved, um, and he said, whoa, uh, basically, go ahead, drink, woe unto you who do get drunk, woe unto you who give your neighbor and your friends drink and get them drunk also, just so you can look at them, man, that's nasty, isn't it, go ahead and uncover your foreskin, they had a foreskin, they were lesser than the chosen people of God, so, yeah, that's boiled down what that means. Uh, got one more thing for you, and I'm going to put, like, hashtag challenge on this anyway. I'm going to put part two also. But So, I told y'all I would give y'all updates, and I have not given y'all updates. So, about to flip this here camera around. I wish I could find my other paper, but anyway. All right, so here... I think, well, if you can read my handwriting, you can read that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight pages. I wrote down, camera back over. I wrote down the entire book of Habakkuk today. Well, yesterday and today, this morning, um, and last night. And yeah, that was it. Uh, I do not expect y'all to write down a whole book of the Bible. And had I not, I wasn't sure how to break it down because the whole book encompassed what I wanted to teach on today. Um, so, like I say, pick a verse. Pick something that speaks to you. Pray to God. Now, I suggest for any new Christians out there, start in the old, uh, New Testament. New Testament. <laughs> I about said that wrong. Um, start in the New Testament. Uh, if you feel like studying, if you feel led, how about that? If you feel led to study the Old Testament, then go.
but until you know what Christ did for you, stay in the new. All right, y'all have a blessed day.